Hey everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun, and today I'm going to share with you my review on the Butts Carving Knife. This is a German uh, whittling knife, which is pretty dang nice. Um, it's using some German steel, uh, I hope like, um, it has a Rockwell hardness of about 58, which is on the lower end of the spectrum, but you know what, it's, it's still within range for holding a pretty dang good... Uh, razor edge on it for a long period of time. Um, it does not come sharpened and ready to go but the description on the for the knife does tell you that and it, you, it does tell you need a sharpened knife. So you're coming into it knowing you're you're gonna have to give this one a sharpen but it's a really good knife. It holds its edge pretty good and it's a great price at about uh, 20 bucks. Um, I think it has like the perfect blade length. It is a 1 and 7 16 inch uh, blade length for uh, knife length for and for whittling it just it feels about right like this is a one inch block of uh, basswood. I feel like it just it just works. Um, it has a very nice comfortable handle just this it's slim, but just this little nook right here. It feels so good in the hands um, It's nice and smooth handle and rounded and they finish it with a an oil finish So it's not lacquered or anything like that. So it's not gonna slide around your hands a lot um, It grips your hand pretty good. It is a very very nice handle um, Plus along with it too you can see it it's taking the wood off pretty nice uh, even with like thin strokes going right there, like you can get some nice and thin cuts on it. It has a nice thin blade on here, um, maybe a little bit thicker than like your flex, yeah it's a little bit thicker than your flex cut um, blades but it, it's still pretty good and I, I do like how it has the knife recessed back so if you are doing like a pairing stroke it, it'll bump your finger, uh, the handle will pump, bump your thumb before it even comes to your finger, so it's almost like a safety to it right there. So you're less likely to, to slice your, your finger in a paring cut that way. Um, and now the quality of steel this is, it's, it's nice. I mean, I, I like it. Uh, this is definitely for me is going to be a keeper that I'm going to be keeping in my um, box of whittling knives. I will definitely be using this one more often. Uh, it just the combination of the decent steel, the way that the handle is designed, and the position of the blade definitely is is a winner right here. And depending on where you buy this from, some places might offer um, sharpening services, but you know what, it's, it's an easy enough knife to sharpen. You won't have to worry about that too terribly much. Um, the, like I said before, the price of this, it's quite affordable. This is within reason for like anyone who's getting into whittling, and you have the proper sharpening tools to begin with. For 20 bucks. You're getting a lot of knife for for the price that you're paying here. This is definitely a a keeper right here. And I've seen people saying that they they've used multiple of these knives over the years. Like long this knife has been around for a while. And just a lot of people use them. They they only use this this knife, which I don't blame them. It's a it's good. Um, like I was saying earlier, the blade length it's not too terribly long, where it feels unwield unwieldy if you're trying to do like small details. Um, but it's not so short that you can't just uh, do some rough outs of. Uh, like roughing out your wood to get the basic shapes that you want. Let's see, I think right about here. Yeah. 
But yeah, overall, great knife. Um, if you also want to see some other knives I reviewed, I did a full-on review video of a bunch of different knives. Uh, showed them all side by side and compared the different different ones that there are and to see which ones are like your your better choices for beginners or if you're trying to whittle on a budget. This knife is definitely on top of that list there. I'd go go ahead and check out that video. I'll have the the link in the description below. You can you can go and check that one out. Now, like I was saying, there are a couple downsides to it. Just the main one being that you have to sharpen it. Um, this is gonna this might make or break some of you who are beginners or aren't completely familiar with uh, sharpening whittling knives. Um, I, it almost feels like they they ended their sharpening process on a 400 grit stone. You can see the the grit of the stone or whatever they use to sharpen the, the knife with in, in the edge of the blade. Um, and it just needs to be smoothed out. So you need to take it to like a like an 800 grit stone and then to a, a leather shop with the compound. Um, what I did with mine was take it to my 800 grit stone and then I took it to a 1000 grit sandpaper, a wet dry sandpaper that I glued to a block. And then I took it to my um, leather strap with polishing compound on it to finish it off. And after that, I got a nice, super sharp, super sharp blade that just, it, it cuts. It, it's a good blade. And after that, you just need to maintain the blade. Um, every now and then, you might need to take it to like a thousand grit paper again, but I just mainly use my strop with the polishing compound on it and it's it gets the job done. Now one of the things I noticed about this knife is it's like the, the build quality of it is okay. Um, but here, I'll, I'll show you here. like. I don't know if I if I can get it to show on the video, but right along either side of the the blade at the end by the opening here, there's a little bit of a gap. For the rest of it, the the wood is hugging the on uh, the steel pretty well, but there's just a little bit of a gap at the end of it, and it's kind of just aesthetically it bugs me a little. I don't notice any blade wiggle um, at all, so it's it's not like it's not a major issue to me. Um, it just kind of looks off. Uh, eventually I might fill it in with epoxy or something like that, but I'm not too terribly concerned. Yeah, it's still a very good knife. I definitely would recommend it, especially if you um, want a decent knife that like around the $20 mark that you will just have, to, you don't mind sharpening anything. Uh, it'll get the job done. Noted, if you want something that you don't have to, uh, you don't have to sharpen, uh, check out the, the video. I have a lot of other options on there. Like you can get like the flex cut knives or something like that. They'll get the, get, get you going right there. Finish this little guy up right here. All right. Yeah, that's about good. Finish this up right here. But yeah, if you guys liked the, the video, I got a lot more knife reviews uh, available as well as the the main review video with all the knives in there. Uh, go ahead and check those guys out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, whenever I find some cool stuff, I'll, I'll post it up. I, I'm always on the lookout for really cool whittling tools. Yeah, that's good. That's done. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you have, you, you have yourself a good day. Take care.